Hello everyone, welcome to my our channel You Learn Easily. In this video, I am going to explain how to convert a 2D shape into a 3D shape. Already we have some 3D shapes in the modeling tab that is brick, spear, cone, torus and cylinder and we have elliptical cylinder also but sometimes we need to design the patch in different shapes like rhombus hexagon pentagon or in some other shapes we need to have the patch antenna so in that case to design or to get the desired shape we need to use curves and in the curves tab there is polygon so by using this polygon option we can create any 2d curve and that 2d curve will be converted into a 2d image and then that 2d shape will be converted into a 3d shape so that we can have a 3d patch antenna or 3d shape so now i am going to take a simple example and for that purpose i am going to design a hexagon so first i am going to take substrate then i will show you how to design a hexagon and how to convert a 2d curve into a 3d shape so first i am going to take the brick and i am going to get the substrate and i am giving the name as substrate and x minimum i am giving as minus 50 and x max plus 50 y minimum minus 50 and y max also plus 50 and z minimum 0 and z max i am giving as 1.6 and here i am not going to simulate this so here i am keeping the material as vacuum and now i am going to press preview so this is the brick which is nothing but substrate so now i am going to show you how to get hexagon in 3d shape so first for that purpose i am going to select an edge so for that purpose i am going to pick points and in that select pick edge center and i am selecting the edge center of the substrate and now i am going to place the local coordinate system so now this is my plus u and this is minus u direction and this is plus v direction and this is minus v direction and in the upward direction we are going to have the w so first now i am going to select polygon from curves curves from the polygon so plus press escape so i am giving to give the name as hexa now we need to give the coordinates for that hexagon shape so that we can have the shape here so first it has to start from zero this is here at this point we are having u and v coordinates as zero so i am going to give u as zero and v also as zero next now i am going in this direction so i am this is minus u direction so i am going to give some value in the minus u direction and i am going to take it as minus u1 and here i have taken it as variable because we can change the value so now when i enter tab it will ask u1 value so now i am going to give u1 value as 8 next this is only u axis and no v value so i'm going to give the v coordinate as zero so see here so this is at this point we are going to have the value as minus u1 comma zero next next we have to move in the upward direction so this is minus u direction but positive v direction so we need to give the next coordinates as minus u2 and v1 minus u2 and v1 minus u2 because this is negative u axis and we need to move in the upward direction and this is positive v axis so i'm going to give the positive v1 value now it is asking u2 value and i'm giving some value 6 and v1 i am going to take 
and it is asking me one value so i'm going to give it as 8 so now this is not hexagon shape so we need to have this like this so i'm going to change u to value so here also not came so now i'm going to change it to 12 so now we got the curve next we need to have like this so this is also positive v direction and minus u axis positive v minus u direction so i'm going to take it as and we need to have the curve in the same line u1 value is same but v value is different u value is the same but v value is different so i am giving coordinate as minus u1 comma v2 next coordinate minus u1 v2 v2 i am going to give as 15 let us so now we got the shape so we have these two points symmetrical to each other now we need to have the curve like this so in this we are going to have same u value and v value because here we are having the u and v coordinates opposite coordinate is also in the same di opposite u direction is different v direction is positive but we are having in the same line u axis is positive so i am going to give it as u1 v value is same so i am going to give it as v2 as it is positive u direction so i have taken the u coordinate as u1 and here we are having the same line we are having the opposite point also symmetrical to this one so here we have v coordinate as v2 now i need to get this point like this this one so see here this is positive u direction but this point is symmetrical to this point u is only differing in direction not in the value positive u direction positive u v direction so u to v1 this is symmetrical to this point u to v1 now again i need to get like this so like this so we have reached the starting point here this point is symmetrical to this one v axis no v axis only positive u direction so i am going to give next coordinate as u10 now this shape has to reach the origin point so i am going to give last coordinate as 0 so now we got the hexagon shape so i am going to click ok and this is only a 2d wire we need to convert it into 2d shape so for converting that into 2d shape i am going to select cover curve option from create shape from the curve so from this wired curve we are going to cover this so i am going to cover that curve so for that purpose select that shape and click on that shape now i am keeping the name as same name and if there is any change in the material we can take it pc preview
so now the shape has been filled out now we need to convert it into we have only 2d shape now we need to convert it into 3d shape so for converting it into 3d shape i am going to use shape tools option shape tools then go to shell solid or thicken sheet so first we need to select that object then only we can convert it into a 3d image because it has to know which has to be converted into 3d shape so for that purpose i am going to select curve one or solid one because we have converted that wire into 2d shape shape tools now it has been highlighted shell solid or thicken sheet now we need to know whether it, the 3d image has to be moved in the upward direction or downward direction that is height height has to be in the upward direction or downward direction and here i am keeping it as inside and i am going to give the thickness as 0.6 now see the preview so now see the 2d shape has been converted converted into 3d shape so here whatever the thickness we will give we will be having this shape height i am clicking okay so we have convert we have created 3d shape so this is how we can convert 2d shape into 3d shape and we can create a patch in any shape by using this curves polygon option thank you